Link 2012. Okay. All right, we're in the boss fight. We don't have... We have the speed and everything. All right, it says, click the camera to start the animation. Good job. Oh man, it's so laggy. We can this this fight can actually work on four, so we're fine. And normally this is actually much smoother and faster. Oh, this portal animation was so hard to do, man. And it's so slow right now though. I don't like it. Come on. There we go. Herobrine. No, he doesn't have the Herobrine head! Why does he have the Herobrine head? Alright, anyways, that's supposed to happen much faster. And his head is supposed to be Herobrine's head. Oh man, this is exciting, guys. I don't know what to expect. He's so slow, though. I don't know how to make this any faster, guys. I I'm bummed. I'm so bummed because uh, I was expecting this to be so much faster. But as you can see, he's actually looking at me. He is actually looking at me. That was a pain to do. And Come on, do your moves. It's so laggy right now. Hello, Mr. Boss. Why aren't you working properly? That's so strange. He seems broken. He's not moving anywhere. He should be moving over there. And he should have done a move right there as well. If you go under him, you actually get hunger. Not that it matters to us, but... Wait, can we actually hit him in midair? I don't think we can, but... No, we can't. This is very strange and annoying. The music's working. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so these are all the different abilities. Is he moving? No. What's up with that? It's as if he just stopped working. stands here there's nothing here it doesn't seem at least yeah that's very strange I know there's supposed to be armor stands all around here. This guy's here. Man. 
You know what I'm betting? Yeah, this is what I'm betting. All of the armor stands in this region, for some reason, didn't spawn in. Well, I sort of know how to do this. Okay, please work. Please, 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 please work. I think he might teleport to wherever he's supposed to go next. And then do his ability. But all the armor stands should be here for the ability. Yeah, it looks like all the armor stands are here now. This is good. Wait, is this guy here? I think the ones on the end might not have happened. I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, they did. I just accidentally doubled them. I don't think that's an issue, but we'll have to see. I'm actually really worried right now. Because I don't know exactly how to fix this. I don't know exactly what the issue is, actually. Maybe there's just an exception to me. Because I'm the creator of the map. Alright, well, you know what we're going to do? Because this isn't working properly. We are going to... Try to restart it. It's so strange that the music's the only thing that's working right now. There's all this stuff here, too. Reset move stands. animation again. Hmm. This is so strange. I don't like it. Maybe we'll restart the animation and hope it fixes it. So that restarted everything, I think. Is the boss still up here? No, here been left. Okay, but Harabin dropped his head. So... Nuts! Why isn't this boss fight working properly? Right. Let's see if this works. It seems to be lagging a little bit less, which is nice. But, oh, never mind, it's lagging the same. Yeah, I don't know how to restart everything. Let's hope that this actually works. I doubt it's going to work, though, for some reason. Yeah, the portal's not doing anything properly. Everything properly. Okay, well, there's Herobrine. All right. Right, this shouldn't be here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and drop this over here. Oh, we still have the slowness from the other area. That's a bummer. Well, actually, it's good because you'd be able to run around this boss, this boss arena so fast. This would be problematic. He's not looking at me. Is he doing his moves? Yes, he's doing his moves! Okay, it's time for the boss battle, actually. Uh-oh. Oh boy, nope, we don't want to be wherever those things are. Wait, how much damage will it do if I'm close to it? Oh, it actually does damage, man! That's scary. Ouch. Put some blocks between us and it. Might help. Oh, we still haven't drank the beastly potion yet. All right, well, his head's not moving properly towards us, but that's okay because the boss is actually working and that's all I care about. So he'll shoot this thing at us and we can shoot it back at him. Ouch, it actually hit me, what? Bummer. I thought we were gonna get him with it. Okay, so apparently the Yashik's bow causes problems. I think that's probably the main issue here, is the Yashik's bow. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, at least it's working properly. Okay, let's listen to this I can't remember. Oh, this thing. What is it? Oh! No, 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 no! Out of the way of those lightning bolts. Yeah, that those lightning bolts will actually annihilate us. At least the fire's going away now. Okay, well this is actually kind of fun. Okay, so first of all, we know not to use the Yashik's bow because apparently it bugs out the game. But besides that. It looks like we're doing all right. We didn't manage to shoot him with his, uh-oh, uh this is not a fun one. Okay, yeah. All right, this is basically TNT run. Replica. All right, we need to be careful because the blocks around us are gonna fade and we can drop down and die. We don't wanna die, no! Okay, we're good. Okay, we're really good, we're really good. Man, these, they just keep going. He's not moving either, which is an issue. Oh, maybe it just lasts a long, oh yeah, it just lasts a long time. Because it's not, the game's lagging too much. On the bright side, we can jump up. So that will allow us to uh, dodge a lot of things. Like I think this will allow us to dodge pretty much every single attack, uh, except the cherubims. The cherubims are still gonna be a pain. Yeah, I, it was really fun just uh, coming up with attacks for this guy. Oh boy, he's doing it again. All right, well, we can technically stay here in the same spot and it will help us out a little bit. Because it'll do some blank places. The chance of you dying on some of these is really low. On this move is really low for the earlier rounds. Each of these moves gets harder and harder depending on his stage. Currently, he's in the first stage, which isn't too bad. His first stage is really easy. Wait, what did he do right there? So he did ground rumble, ground rumble, then what over there? I didn't see him do a move. That's strange. Or wait, were, are, did he summon cherubims that I didn't see? Alright, well anyways, he's gonna go ahead and shoot his thing. And we gotta aim right for him. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. We missed him! Yeah, we got him! We got him! Yes! Okay! Let's go in! Let's go in! We're going in! We're going in! 
No, 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 no. Come here, come here in the goo. Come in the goo. Oh boy, the lag. This is not how the boss fight's supposed to be experienced at all. Ouch! He does a decent amount of damage, but nowhere near enough to actually kill me. Come on. I don't know how much health he has, all I know is he has a lot. Oh, and he's back up there. Oh, snap, and he's doing cherubims. These guys are really cool. Oh, sometimes they have bugs and, and their, their wings go flying off, but for the most part, these guys are really tough. The only way to kill them is by hitting their head. So if you see here, we can't actually hit their body one bit, but we can't hit their head. And so these guys are really complicated. Oh, oh, they saved my position. You're gonna... But yeah, they, they can save your position and then bring you back. That's somewhat inspired by Undertale. Um... And it has a little bit to do with the same thing, but it's different. Why is there a command block back there? Oh, that's to get back over if you somehow got over there. All right. Anyways. But it has to do more with uh, the nature of cherubims themselves as to why they can save your position and then reload it at any given time. Thankfully, these guys have pretty low health uh, at the start. And the way I did it, so that way their heads would be the only place where you could hit them, was by using a uh, uh, a pig right there. This boss, fight, this boss fight is so much cooler when there's no lag. What I'll probably end up doing later on is copying this boss, my gear, over into a new map. And then trying out this boss fight, just to show you guys how cool it is when it's fast. But right now I want to actually do it on the save file that I have. Now the uh, the cherubims can hit you. Oh, he just keeps doing cherubims. Now these moves are completely random, so it's a bit difficult for speedrunners. Uh, I think I made them about the same time though, so it's still pretty good. Speedrunners are gonna have a tough time though, because like this, there's so many bugs on this boss battle. Hmm. Ah, okay. Yash explode though. Oh wait, he's doing his move now. We want to get to the very back that we have. We can hit him. No! Oh yes, we got him! We actually got him! Sweet. Alright, we're back in business. Oh, we got him in the next stage. Sweet. So we actually got him his, his health down enough. But yeah, as you'll be able to see here... This move is going to be a lot more difficult than last time. On the bright side, my admin diamond is kicking in all the time. It's going to be difficult if he does the... Uh the the what the next move right after this what is it called the the well i don't know the rock fall whatever that thing is and as you can see he's actually moving much faster now i'll be just doing this again but as you can see these things are disappearing much faster and there's a lot more of them disappearing it is also yeah so they, most moves if they happen, things get more get difficult after them. Oh boy, we need to get out of here. So if you have two of these and then the rock fall and you weren't and you didn't do them at the same spot, it would be really difficult. 
But also if you did this and then you got cherubims, it would be difficult. If you got cherubims, you're still fighting your cherubims and you have the rocks falling from the ceiling, that's gonna be a pain. Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Oh no, it's this one! This one, I absolutely despise this one. But thankfully, we've got Charisma of Levitation. So what these do is he, he does these... This is my least favorite move. I had so many problems making this move work, to be honest with you. Um, but he, he does these giant uh, waves, th these, these uh, crit particle waves, and they go after you. Or they go after the position that you're at. Um, and that was pretty hard to make. What I did was I used a magma cube that was mostly in the ground. And uh, I had a dog or something going after uh, a skeleton farther away. All invisible, of course. Or on another layer. Oh, did I get hit? I think I got hit. Or no, it went far enough. That way I didn't get hit. Ha! You've been foiled, boss. But that means we have to wait a whole nother round before we can try to get him again. So this fight does last a while. Now, unfortunately, when this boss bugs, it makes things difficult. But it's actually cool because the things do fall there. Oh, great. We're done for. Okay, we're actually good. But those things do do progressively more damage as you go along. And they are put in a random position around you. Right, we just want to get between us between. Them. Oh, okay. All right. All right, we're good. We're not even taking damage from it. Oh boy, we're gonna take damage from that probably. Yeah, we're okay though. But when this boss is acting up normally, it feels very almost. I don't know how to describe it. Uh. But weird. It's 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 sort of nostalgic and sad and um eerie all at the same time. It's almost a gross feeling that I, I wanted players to feel while fighting this boss and after it too. But uh, I think I achieved that. Fairly well if the boss works properly, but I'm like I said, the boss is not work in the best right now. Yeah, we don't have to worry too much about everything, about all these uh, blocks fading away, because this is the last move, and as long as we're not standing on a block that's fading away, we're good. really not so hard right now. Alright, we're gonna get a bit closer this time. Actually, if we jump up, we'll still hit him. There we go, got him. Perfect. Alright, come back here, man. Alright, good. I actually need to throw this on you yet. This is nowhere near as difficult. It's not scary either, because this face isn't the Herobrine face. Normally it's the Herobrine face. Yeah, you guys see why I didn't want to play through Descent now? It doesn't look quite as good as it could have been. He's back up there. I'm not sure if I got him in the next stage or not. Oh, no, it's just this one. Yeah, you can see the magma cubes that came up for just a brief moment. When it starts coming at me... Oh, I'm, I'm holding the wrong thing up right now. Now, thankfully, the, they only do two hearts of damage to me, but those two hearts add up if you don't have the beastly potion. Hey, we're practically invincible right now. We don't have to worry about anything.
Uh, I think he's on the final stage too right now, because we did hit him a lot there, and he jumped over there instead of there. He's going much faster. He's bleeding right now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This one's going to be really tricky, because it goes really fast now to where I am. Another one! Come on! I don't get a break here! <laughs> yeah, those things really damage you. You might think, oh, it's just thunder. Well, there's actually a magma cube in there that does a ton of damage to you. Right, what's your next move, man? Give me all you got. We're gonna take you down next time, Herobrine. There's gonna be nothing left to you. We're even gonna take fire resistance right now. This boss fight was way too easy. This set is just insanely overpowered is the thing. Oh no. The ceiling's falling again. And this time it falls really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna hold this. Oh boy, yeah, you see it even pushes me even though I'm way high in the air. Yeah, it keeps it's the explosion gets pretty big. You really need blast protection. Um Okay, we'll still hit him even if we jump, and that's the goal here. To jump and then hit the hit the thing. Like that. There we go, we got him. Alright, so now I think we just need to kill him, and since he's lagging so badly, I think we basically won this fight already. Oh, but he's actually faster now. He gets more and more powerful in, in all aspects as the fight goes on. Oh boy, yeah. No, 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 please don't. Please don't. We got him, yay! So we got Herobrine. His head is question, question, question. It's a monument item. Herobrine's boots, protection 12, feather falling 5. Saturation, resistance, and haste. Saturation, resistance 2, and haste. It isn't unbreakable, though. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is just to show you the effects that Herobrine has on him. So he has saturation, he has resistance too, and he has haste. Even... Wait, no, that's not right. That's just because these were a knockoff of the... The high... The... The rune boots. So these actually show you the rune aspects too, which is cool. And as you can see, you have all sorts of really cool stuff there. Yeah. Yeah, so if we replaced our rune item right now with this, we wouldn't notice any difference at all. Because that's what it is. And of course the helmet's different. Herobrine's head, Sally, does not look like Herobrine's head. I guess they changed it in Minecraft, because I know for a while Herobrine, his, if you had a head that was just named Herobrine, it would had the eyes, but this isn't the case. But you'll notice that when you kill the boss, the music stops, and that is literally it. That you, you know, He drops his stuff, and that's it. There's nothing. There's no big animation. There's no... nothing spectacular. It's just done. And that's the way it's meant to be. There's not meant to be anything spectacular. The spot fight is meant to the ended on a low note. You're not meant to feel good after beating this boss. You're meant to feel just as if... Well, what? Well, what's this about? And I enter and hopefully it will... 
feel bit better. Anyways, we're going to go back to Recovered Haven now and put this on the monument. That was the final boss, folks. That was not a great experience with the final boss. I'm going to copy this, my stuff, into another descent map, and we're going to play this boss for real. Maybe not today, because I might not have the time, but we, we definitely will. All right, let's go back to Recovered Haven. We get through that portal. So that's what that portal was about, sort of. All right, let's go to the monument. So we're not feeling so great. We just beat the boss. And then it's just going to feel more weird because we place the head. We get a rose that says, thanks for playing. It's the same as... Uh, uh, this is this is basically... Uh, Terror Restore has... Wait, no, this isn't, this isn't Terror Restore. Um, I'm trying to remember the map. Ragecraft 2, I think it was, has the same thing where they say thanks for playing. They have the fireworks. So I, I sort of stole that. <laughs> I even stole their fireworks from that map um, down there. Was there anything else I wanted to say about the final boss fight? Oh yes, the, uh, the music there is from Majora's Mask. It's the final countdown for when the moon is falling down. I really want to recreate that feel. That's part of the feel I wanted there. So you beat it, you get the fireworks. It says, congratulations, you have completed the map. Make sure to share your victory with your friends and challenge them to do better. Let's go take a, let's go take a screenshot of us be, having beaten the map. Um, now, sadly, we don't have our skin right now. If only we had a link to tell the call head. I hope I remember this. I'm probably doing this wrong. Custom name, maybe? Alright. I want to get my head on before I take the screenshot. Right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this head. We're going to go into creative. We're going to duplicate it. Boom. That's our head. Our head's normally big anyways, so... There we go, we beat the map. Beautiful. I don't feel super awesome, just like the map's supposed to make me feel. Uh, you know, it's just, we did it, but to what, to what, what was all that about, you know? <sighs> oh well. I'm really bummed that this head didn't show up properly. I have to go back. If, if I was to fix Descent, I would have to go back through and do that. We still have to make that monument to all the heads, but I don't know, man. I mean, I'm done here. I want to go back through the map now and uh, just talk about it a little bit. But I'm going to call it a quits for this episode right here that you guys are watching today. I would like to thank you all very much for watching. It's been quite an experience. Uh, and I'm glad I played through Descent. You know, maybe it would have been better on my own because I would have been able to think a little bit more about things. But it's been great recording it. Don't forget to make the most every day and keep on contributing.